Hi, everyone, and happy Sunday. Welcome back to Chatting with Charities, a new initiative that Exit Realty PEI is doing. What we're doing is we're speaking with all different charities and nonprofits across Prince Edward Island to try to give them a spotlight on where they can talk about what they do and how Islanders can help them, because we all know that Islanders love to help. So um, that's the basis behind this. Thank you for joining us today. And today we are joined by Daryl from Make-A-Wish Foundation. Good morning, Daryl. Uh, good morning, Carol. Good morning, everyone. Or maybe afternoon. I'm not sure when this is actually dropped on, on Sunday. Um, so Daryl, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization and what it does for Islanders? Oh, certainly, Carol. And again, uh, first off, I just want to uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Uh, it's a great chance to speak with yourself and um, and also Islanders about uh, about uh, what we do. Um, so uh, I work with the uh, Make a Wish um, Foundation of Canada, the PEI chapter. And uh, you may or may not have heard recently, uh, we did uh, amalgamate. Uh, we were formerly the Children's Wish Foundation of Canada. And uh, on October 1st, 2019, uh, we officially um, uh, joined forces with uh, Make-A-Wish uh, of Canada um, to form one wish granting organization in Canada. So it was very exciting um, to, uh, to merge and to join forces with, uh, with Make-A-Wish. And we're excited to be able to um, um, uh, grant more wishes uh, to, to island uh, children and, and Canadian children. Um, so we uh, grant wishes to uh, children aged 3 to 17 who have been diagnosed with a critical illness. Um, so uh, we grant uh, three types, uh, three types of wishes, um, item wishes, celebrity wishes, and, uh, and travel wishes. Um, now, uh, of course, uh, due to COVID, our travel wishes are currently on um, pause, um, but uh, we are actively um, granting uh, item wishes um, to, uh, to our island children. Okay, awesome. And I was so happy to, to hear that you guys both came together because uh, I used to get you mixed up all the time, <laughs> as Many. probably a lot of people. Yes, that's that's correct. Yes, uh, we we do of course very similar um, similar things with regards to wish granting. So it seemed like a, a perfect a perfect fit. Yes, yes, for sure. Uh, so Daryl, if people do donate money to you, um, and I guess maybe you answered that question already. I was going to ask you where the money would go to, but it would go to all your different initiatives that you do. Yes, that's correct. Um, the average uh, cost of a wish is is ten thousand um, dollars. So uh, we're currently working on uh, forty uh, wishes uh, for island children, um, which is uh, the highest um, highest ever in the history in the thirty four year history of our PEI chapter. Um, so certainly, there's uh, the the need is is great. It's never been greater. Um, and um, we, we do not rely on, on government funding. Um, we solely rely on the generosity of, of Islanders, uh, individuals, uh, businesses uh, to grant these wishes and we certainly couldn't do it without them. Um, so again, yeah, um, we, we do grant those three types of wishes. And, uh, and now that the travel wishes are, are on pause, there's, there's more of a shift towards, towards item wishes. Um, the delivery of a wish uh, to, to the front door, uh, so to speak. Uh, one such wish I remember in the fall um, was for a young, a young man who um, has uh, some debilitating illnesses, um, uh, which uh, result in him being um, confined to, to his bed for 22 and a half hours of the day. Um, so we, um, we granted uh, his wish. It was uh, an entertainment room uh, full of, um, of visual uh, stimulus, such as a large screen TV um, and other um, uh, uh, visuals uh, for him to, to enjoy. Um, so we dropped that off at, uh, at his front door. Normally, we, uh, we would certainly go in and, and celebrate that wish with him, but it was through a, uh, a pane of glass <laughs> um, outside. Uh, but uh, his, um, his mother... Um, lifted up his uh his bed so he could he could see 
uh, us through the window. And um, he, you can certainly still tell that he was, he was quite excited uh, about this happening. And um, from speaking to his mother uh, after the wish was granted, uh, she could really tell uh, a difference in his um, in his behavior, um, he he was smiling a lot more. He was he was shifting his head. He was very active. Um, and uh, prior to it, it, it was very challenging uh, for her to elicit those positive emotions. Uh, so we're really happy to be able to um, to deliver uh, that wish to him, which was the perfect uh, wish uh, considering his his condition. Um, so th those are the types of wishes that we, we really um, get excited for. Uh, even during COVID, we're still able to, to, uh, to, to pivot, uh, to adjust uh, the wish somewhat. Um, and now for, for, for this gentleman, it was a perfect wish for him um, and, and for others as well. Um, we also granted an extreme camping wish. Oh. For for a young child uh, up west, um, so it was uh, that was another delivery. We loaded up the, uh, the truck and uh, with all types of, of camping gear uh, and a surprise little um, uh, a battery powered uh, buggy, um, like a trike. Um, so him getting on that with uh, with his siblings uh, racing around the, uh, the the house outside in the yard. Um, it was certainly a special moment um, for the family, for him, and for us as well. Uh, he, he did bang into the, uh, the eave trough, the downsprout of the house, and knocked it off, but um, almost took some shins out. But no, he got the hang of it pretty good. <laughs> and, uh, and the family, uh, the next weekend, uh, did, uh, did go for their camping trip um, and, uh, and had a wonderful, wonderful time. So those are memories that they'll uh, be able to, to share for years and years, which... Um, which certainly brings uh, to the impact, uh, the overall impact of a wish. Um, certainly it can be a wonderful distraction uh, for many uh, families and, and uh, the, the wish children alike. Um, uh, you know, they, they go through so many um, difficult procedures, surgeries, trips to Halifax. All these things can be cert uh, certainly uh, a stressor on these families, um, a continuous stressor, uh, which certainly impacts their overall health of the whole family. Um, so uh, being able uh, to think about, uh, to wish, uh, to dream about uh, uh, their wish, uh, to talk to the hospital staff uh, during these procedures uh, about the wish. So it offers a tremendous uh, distraction to, um, to uh, the wish child and the family, um, and also the physical impacts of, of the wish. The, um, when, when they have more positive energy, um, more, a, a more positive thought process, that really does uh, give a, a boost uh, to their physical activity, uh, to their immune system. So it really does have a tremendous effect on, on their overall um, well-being and health. Um, the the long-lasting impact as well, um, Carol, with regards to these wishes, families talk about uh, their wish years and years later. Yeah. Um, we've had wish children that have um, thankfully fully healed from their from their uh, conditions and gone on to be uh, nurses a a in the healthcare system here on PEI uh, and and taking care of of wish children uh, like themselves uh, years ago. Um, so uh, certainly the uh, you know a wish does cost uh, ten thousand um, dollars and. Um, because we're working on 40 now, the, the, the need is, is tremendous, um, but it certainly goes beyond, well and beyond uh, the, actual, the actual wish with regards to uh, the impact and, and, and positivity that it brings to, uh, to the wish child and their families. Right, right. Uh, your, your job must be a little bit of both, both rewarding and a little bit heart wrenching as well. Um, but yeah, those are those are wonderful stories. And I personally know uh, people who have children who have benefited from uh, from your organization. And I, I know the impact that it has had and continues to have um, on those families. So it is a very, very important initiative and important organization for sure. Certainly, thank you for that. Um, and Daryl, if people were interested in donating uh, is there a, an easy way for them to do that? 
Hmm. Well, certainly, yes. Um, you can uh, certainly hop on our, our webpage and make makeawish.ca um, to donate there. Um, we have a local uh, office here in Charlottetown. Um, and um, you can give us a call at uh, 566 5526 to speak to myself, Jen, or Beth, the staff there. We would love uh, to, to, to talk to you about, um, uh, about what we do, our mission, uh, as well as uh, uh, some of the various fundraisers that we, uh, we are currently doing. Um, uh, certainly, it's, uh, monetary donations are, are certainly uh, the, um, not the preferred choice, but it's certainly encouraged due to the uh, $10,000 per wish <laughs> cost of wishes. Um, but there's other ways as well that, uh, that people can contribute. Um, volunteering is uh, for, our, for our various events. Our, there's a need there. Um, so you can find that information on, on the, the webpage as well. Please uh, check out our Facebook page. Uh, we most recently um, had to change from our Children's Wish Facebook page to a make a new Make-A-Wish page. Unfortunately, we weren't able to, uh, to transition all of our followers, which were about 3,600 uh, oh, people no. um, uh, there. So we're, we're kind of starting over with a new page. So we really encourage people just to hop on Facebook, look up uh, Make-A-Wish PEI chapter and like our page. Uh, you can follow us uh, to learn more about what we do with regards to wishes um, and events um, and uh, see what, uh, what certainly an event that might line up with, with your interests um, mm -hmm. and fill out the, the volunteer form on, on, online. And uh, we would love to talk to you, uh, talk to you certainly a, a, about that. Okay, awesome. I also just want to mention that um, our son, he's 12 now, I, f I think he was, maybe 10 when he made a donation to the children's wish. And whenever he went to the office to do so, um, the experience was made very special. Uh, they explained to him, I, he went into a little office and I, I can't remember, it might've been Jen. I, I don't remember who was talking to him, but she asked him all kinds of questions about him and she explained where the money went. And it, was, it wasn't just like, oh, thank you for your money. <laughs> You know goodbye it was really 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 special um and i think that he will always remember that and in the future if he decides to contribute somewhere again i think that that is definitely where he will go back to um so i just wanted to mention that if you have children or even if they're not children even if it's an an adult that makes the donation um i really really appreciated how they made it so special whenever he did that um, and so kudos to, um, to, to the organization for doing that, because like I said, it made a huge impression on him. So I think you will continue to think of that organization as somewhere where he would like to put any extra money that he might have. Wow, Carol. So thank you so much for, uh, for sharing that story. Um, we, we do cherish um, our, our, the visits with, um, with all of our donors, uh, most especially uh, uh, young, young, uh, young children who um, are uh, essentially they're the future of, um, of philanthropy here um, uh, on the island. And um, for them to, to, to come in and, and donate their, uh, their money, whether it's a, a birthday uh, in lieu of gifts, um, it could be anything at all, but, but no, we cherish those moments and we do really um, try our best to make them feel, make them feel special because they are. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we, we let them know um, that uh, the children that are similar to their age are, are, are going through some tough times yeah. and um, their contribution, they, they really are helping to, uh, to grant grant wishes, they're wish young, young wish granters. So exactly. that's a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you, we, 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 yeah, it's very heartwarming and it warms our heart uh, for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, um, that was really good information and, and story sharing and I appreciate um, you taking the time to come and share with us how Islanders can help your organization. And um, even if all you can do is share their page, <laughs> that would be, uh, very beneficial for them at this time. So uh, we will, when we post this video, we will be putting uh, all of your links on there as well, all of your social media links and your website so that people will know um, how to find you. 
So thank you, Daryl, for your time. I appreciate thank you so much. it. Thank you. And I hope that um, you're successful in granting all of those wishes that, that you're hoping to grant this year. And thank everyone for listening. And we'll see you next Sunday um, on Chatting with Charities, where we will highlight a different charity. Okay, everyone, happy Sunday. And we'll see you soon.